Hello guys, so today I'm coming with a new recipe which is called Chicken Jahangir Kurma. So I have seen in one of the videos, so just wanted to try. Let's see if it is a success or a failure. Let me show you the quick things I have gathered around. It's already mixed up. It's like uh, onions, uh, green chilies, bay leaves, ginger, garlic, uh, I made it to small pieces, black pepper, uh, and uh, what did I add more? So there's an ilachi here, and biryani flour, and um, I've also added a cumin powder, and also added a coriander powder, and uh, yeah, and salt. That's all. So I'm not, now I'm going to <coughs> whistle them for one uh, one whistle with high flame and three whistles with uh, low flame. Let's. So I added um, red mirchi. So I've just taken um, maybe 250 grams chicken and I've um, fried them in oil just to harden the texture around the chicken. So the oil that I've used is still here. Thing it's not, yeah, still here. I'm not going to throw this out. I'm going to reuse them in the chicken kurma and let's see. Half roasted chicken to the uh, mixture and mix it well. So, all the um, ingredients that I have added are already well softened. Let's mix it well. Mixing it properly, then put it on a medium flame and make it a uh, single weasel and then. So this is the state right now. So I've also added the um, oil uh, that I have used to fry the chicken pieces here, and then I'm also <coughs> frying the onions, and then I'll mix them uh, properly with the mixi and make it to crush into small pieces, and I'll use that paste back again to this chicken kurma. So <coughs> I've also adjusted the salt according to my taste. Then uh, let's see. I've also added the red uh, ashirwad mirchi powder and also homemade mirchi in it. And I put right now I put them in uh, a sim <coughs> plate. And let's see. I grind them well into small pieces and I think for 250 grams uh, two chopped onions will be enough. Uh, let's mix this up in the roma. I have uh, added that uh, powder, the onion, uh, fried onion mixy powder and mix it well. So I'm getting this flavor and this thickness. Still, I'll uh, maintain this. Add curd to this. Make sure this curd is at the uh, room temperature, not so cold and even not so warm. Uh, half cup of uh, warm water, and then I'll whistle uh, two two more times, and I think that should be enough. And our curry will be ready. Yeah. This is nice. It's a nice flavor. 